So I did NoFap for five plus years, and here's what happened. Many on NoFap talk about the benefits or the superpowers. Others debunk those claims as BS. But as someone who has done NoFap for five plus years, I need to talk about the BS that's going around about NoFap and its benefits and its superpowers. The truth is that it's all true. The benefits are real and they are empowering. One of the benefits that I have experienced is confidence. I'm going to go off script here for a second and just say that it's not easy going on camera and publishing on YouTube. And I still consider myself as a new YouTuber. This is my 70th video and I still don't know what I'm doing. So let's just say that if I wasn't doing NoFap, I probably wouldn't have the confidence to get in front of the camera and make these videos. Other benefits that I have experienced uh, because of NoFap are, well, for one, creativity, like um, starting this YouTube channel and trying to learn and improve and always be searching for more and more information. And this creativity is a, a form of sexual transmutation, as I've mentioned in s more than a few of my videos. NoFap has given me improved social benefits as well. I never was one to be shy, but NoFap has given me a sharper social edge than I ever had in the past. You might even be able to say that I am socially more aggressive than I was in the past. NoFap has given me more motivation. I am more driven to get things done than I ever was in the past too. And uh, NoFap has gotten me more sexual interest from others. Pretty sure that got your attention. PMO makes us less attractive. On NoFap, I can actually feel others trying to get my attention. However, I could be showing more confidence with my own body language, and that actually could be a factor too that is attracting other people. Whatever the reason, it, it is due to NoFap. Other benefits or superpowers that I have experienced on NoFap are most notably um, getting rid of PIDE, which is porn-induced erectile dysfunction. I know that many of you have heard others talk about this, and I've experienced it. Um, I have reduced anxiety and shame. I wasn't really an anxious person, but there was always that little doubt in the back of my mind. I'm more self-disciplined. I have more energy and endurance and yada, yada, yada. You've heard all of these before, but until you actually reboot and embrace NoFap, you won't be able to truly appreciate the difference in your life. Before I was on NoFap, I was deep, and I mean deep, into the rabbit hole. My computer was my sex life, and I was totally consumed by it. Literally, my computer felt like a magnet and I was a piece of metal and it would just draw me to it. I was spending virtually all of my free time with porn more and more and I was slowly starting to ignore my responsibilities. I eventually graduated from watching porn to doing porn. I was a cam model on Chatterbait and I was doing this for tips. I turned myself from a porn consumer to a porn producer and it was just another way to make money for me. I quit cam modeling a few months before getting into NoFap. I was disgusted with myself. Um, I guess I had finally hit rock bottom. And you know, it's really sad when you go to do your taxes and you get a 1099 form delivered to you because you made so much money, you have to actually declare it as income. I have mentioned in 
several nofap servers that there were times that i was pulling in 250 dollars a night sometimes 100 sometimes more but the average was about 250 dollars a night so with all humility i can safely say of all the nofap servers that i am in on discord that i honestly admit i am probably the worst most disgusting member in any of those servers and if any of you are watching this, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Don't make the same mistake I did. But that's the past. I can't change it. I have been changing my present and my future. And that's the best that anybody can do. Since rebooting on NoFap, I have learned to live above my addiction. And I always caution people to stay humble. Don't worry about your day count. Stay humble. Understand that you never truly get rid of your addiction. You just learn to live above it rather than below it. So another thing I talk about on my server, which is listed in the description below, is accomplishments. A day count is not an accomplishment. It's just an amount of time spent self-improving. Your actual accomplishments are what really matter. And here's what I have accomplished in the last five plus years. As I mentioned in a previous video, I worked my ass off when I first started my new job, which I'm still at. Working overtime, I would sign up for overtime and go in when they called me. And I paid off all, and I mean all, of my high interest credit card debt. As I mentioned in a previous video, the amount I owed in high interest credit card debt was 150% of my annual income. That's insane. So the advice I give everyone about transmuting your sexual energy, I did just that. By working that extra overtime, instead of being glued to my computer and wasting my potential, I took that extra income and invested it in my debt. Another thing I have accomplished is I now own multiple Discord servers and their goal is to help others improve themselves. I also have a fully funded health savings account up to the legal limit allowed by the US government. I have a rollover IRA, a Roth IRA, and I'm nearing completion of my six month emergency fund that I have mentioned in a previous video. My house is completely debt free. I have no mortgage. So this year I'm going to be investing in my house there are numerous repairs that all homeowners have to endure from time to time. And as soon as I get some contractors, that is exactly what I'm doing this year. I am a super saver. I'm currently saving roughly about 33% of my net income. So any money that is left over will be going into retirement funds. I also spend a good chunk of my free time learning more about YouTube, photography, videography, audio, you name it. I still have a lot to learn and I'm not going to give up. I do work full time so I can't devote to YouTube full time yet, but I'm making more videos more frequently and listening to viewer comments and questions will go a long way for me being able to make more and better quality videos. A physical benefit of NoFap that can be noticed is my foreskin restoration progress. Those of you who have seen my other videos have seen actual tangible proof of the progress I have made in the, I think it's like four plus years that I've been doing foreskin restoration. Because of avoiding porn and using some free time productively with foreskin restoration, I have restored half of what was stolen from me at birth. Check out this card here for a link to my foreskin restoration videos. Besides my YouTube videos that are free to all, I would like to invite everyone to my Discord servers that are listed in the description below. I have many great mods in both of my servers and many great members from all over the world. We run a tight ship. We don't tolerate trolls. We don't tolerate disrespect. And I would say that I have met some really, really good friends from all over the world 
many of whom I talk to on a regular basis, and I consider them my personal brothers. So click the links below. Both servers deal with NoFap. Both servers have sections on foreskin restoration for those who may be interested. And the second server called For Restoration has a non-sexual, not safe for work section where some of us, including myself, have posted our actual progress, the process we have gone through in restoring our foreskins and giving advice to those who may just want information or they want to get started, but we can help you. So leave a comment down below if there's anything else that you need to know about my five plus year journey on NoFap and what has happened, and I'll be more than glad to help you. I'll see all of you in the next video. Peace.